Well, good morning, everybody. Um, hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, you're having a good morning or evening or whenever you're watching this. Hopefully, uh, everything's going good for you. Um, we're gonna go. I said go check some traps and hopefully we'll get a couple coyotes. Um, I do need to start changing. I need to change some uh, sets up and stuff like that um, over the next couple days. Um, probably not so much today. I got a bunch to do. Um, but and not tomorrow. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day long. Uh, so, yeah. But then it's supposed to start clearing up for a little while and then we're supposed to have a pretty good front come through. Snow. So I want to get sets out and have everything working ready to roll for, for that. Um, so, yeah, I guess this is the part. If uh, you don't like uh, me praying and you don't like me uh, reading my Bible verse, um, jump ahead about a minute and we'll be uh, back into trapping. So uh, those of you who uh, do like it, here we go. Today's Bible verse is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So true. <laughs> Just have, having faith in what God can do for us and what He does and, and the power that He actually has. Um, without physically seeing something. Without physically seeing seen these things we've had you know things happen that are unexplainable other than you know god's hand in in our, in our lives it's been um amazing. and it's just having that faith that god will do what he says he will do you know he, he takes care of us so <laughs> well we're gonna pray and uh we're gonna head on down the line so here we go dear lord we thank you and praise you for how faithful you are to us each and every day you you give us so much you do so much for us um, we thank you and praise you for it just guide us and direct us give us wisdom and understanding Lord um, be with those out there watching this bless them and keep them safe and help them and their families whatever they might be going through um, we thank you for your unfailing love each and every day. And we uh, ask these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. All right, guys, let's go catch some coyotes. Later. All right, guys. Well, nothing again today. Um, that's, uh, that's how she goes. There was a spider climbing up you. Oh well, I thank you very much. I don't like spiders. Yeah, she hates spiders. I react but, um, really poorly to spider bites. It's kind of freakish. So yeah, she don't like spiders at all. <laughs> I turn into a so, Klingon really sorry. fast. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, like I said, nothing today. I, I really got to move uh, set, but I'm trying to wait here. Um, like I said, not tomorrow, probably Wednesday um, and Thursday and Friday, try and move sets. Um, and reset. And reset some sets and stuff. Um, try and shuffle things. Um, so, but I really got to move. I'm not, I'm not catching, so I got to. I gotta move. If you don't catch, you gotta 
you know, keep keep moving your set. I mean, especially like here, I cat I caught those six off of this little section here. Yeah. Um, and yes, coyotes, other coyotes will come through, but that's why I'm gonna move them to a different spot down here, kind of a natural funnel. Uh, they'll follow the creek and stuff. Um, it's a sweet spot. So I'm gonna move there and then um, that'll allow allow me to catch the ones that might come through. Um, but some of these other sets I'm gonna pull and put them somewhere else. Um, start getting into some new um, territories and stuff. Um, not super far from the house, but uh, yeah, you just like I said in uh, one of my other videos, I think it was yesterday or something. I just if you're gonna um, be trapping these coyotes and you trap a big area out, you can you can trap them, get them out of there. And then uh, if you if you stop catching coyotes for a while, um, pull them and go somewhere else. And then you can always come back if you don't have a real big big line. You can always come back and reset that again. Um, like within a month, month and a half, you come back and there'll be new coyotes have moved into the area. You know, because they they howl and they talk to each other. And they have their, their, what, I guess their area that they run in. Um, but they'll talk to each other. They'll like howl here and then way over you, the, in another range. Uh, the, another coyotes group will howl over there. And so they have their territories. Um, so when another group might be howling and they don't hear nothing in this area anymore, a group's gonna come into that area and claim it as theirs. Um, it's kind of they just keep coming. You're never gonna catch them all. <laughs> they just keep coming and keep coming. So, um, so they're you know come back after you catch, come back, and within about you know like a month or so, and you should have some new dogs have moved back into the area. So, well, guys. Um, we're gonna get rolling here and get back to the house and then I got got some stuff some products I got to make um, and that so I guess with that being said take care guys. God bless and we'll catch you on the next one later